guys, things are wrapping up here at California Carnivores. It's the end of the day, and we always get this light this time of year that just comes in from the side as the sun is setting in the west. And it's my favorite time to look at sundews. And probably my favorite sundews are the tuberous sundews or winter growing ones. Um, I was just looking at these Drosera porecta. Drosera porecta used to be a subspecies of Stolonifera, and it can be differentiated from the other uh, related species to Stolonifera by these single stems. Typical Stolonifera will branch at the base four or five times and make multiple stems, whereas Porecta usually goes straight up like that. It's interesting, you can see this large plant here was flowering, and the flowers came up right out of the center, and that did cause this one to branch, which is kind of interesting. And this is something I've never seen before on a tuberous sundew. I've seen this fly traps and I've seen it on cape sundews, I've seen it on pygmy sundews, but I've never seen this on a tuberous sundew. And that's when the traps grow on the flower scapes. The difference between a flower and a leaf can be a really simple genetic switch actually. And so sometimes a random mutation like this will cause leaves to grow on flower tissue. And there's a couple different names for that. One of them is vegetative epoxy, I believe. There's another name I'm blanking on right now that people like to call it too. But. Google's for. <laughs>